In a crime alert tonight, police continue to investigate a Northeast Columbia shooting. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lucas Geisler. Deborah has the night off. The scene extended to downtown Columbia, where police pulled over a car damaged by gunfire. ABC 17's Chanel Porter is live at the Columbia Police Department tonight after spending this afternoon along McKee Street. Chanel, 911 calls came from multiple different spots in the McKee Street area. Yeah, Lucas, when I got to the scene on McKee Street earlier today, just after 2 o'clock, they had multiple different sections of the road blocked off. They had evidence markers scattered around showing shell casings in the area. Now, at this point in the investigation, no injuries have been reported, but some damage was left behind in a few homes. We received multiple 911 calls, so there were several locations, um, but it was in the area of McKee and Boyd. Some neighbors told me they saw two cars fly down McKee Street shooting back and forth. That's what led to property damage at this house behind me where a bullet hole went into the side of the house. The two cars then exited McKee Street onto Rhea Street. One neighbor had a bullet hole in the side of her house and another had a bullet go through his wall and into a mirror. This investigation continued into downtown Columbia where police towed this yellow Corvette. Lieutenant Robert Fox with the Columbia Police Department says the car and the driver of the vehicle who was detained were believed to be in the shooting. Several bullet holes identified in the vehicle, um, which has been uh, towed for evidence. As of now, police say multiple vehicles were involved. At this point, we get, well, the information we're getting is that there's three or four vehicles involved in the, in the shooting. Now, they may have been getting shot at or doing the shooting, we don't know, but um, the, the people that were calling in have identified um, We've got four different vehicle descriptions at this point. Another neighbor that I spoke with on McKee confirmed he was outside at the time and saw the Corvette involved and saw a blue vehicle chasing the car down the street. He said as the two exchanged shots, he took safety in his garage. There was also a passenger in the Corvette who was questioned but not detained. At this time, no suspects have been identified. Reporting live in Columbia, Chanel Porter, ABC 17 News. Chanel, thank you. We'll update you right here on air and online. You can also find the latest on this story on the ABC 17 News app.